Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel English Literature. Today we are going to discuss Silver Plath's The Belger from different angles. The Belger is the only novel by Sylvia Plath. It was published in 1963, January, less than one month before Sylvia Plath committed suicide. It is first published under the pseudonym Victoria Lucas. Take the notes. In 1966, The Belger was published in England under Sylvia's real name. By the 1970s, it was published in the US, United States. It is a semi-autographical work that tells the story of Esther Greenwood, a young woman who struggles with mental illness and finds herself feeling lost and disconnected from the world around her. Brief Synopsis The Belger by Sylvia Plath is the story of a highly intellect, intelligent and talented young woman who on the surface seems to have it all. But underneath, she is struggling with depression and a sense of disconnection from the world around her. The story follows her descent into mental illness and then eventual recovery. So, the character that she portrays is actually the author herself. And the struggling with depression in the character Esther Greenwood is the story of depression in her own life. Now we'll have a look at the storyline. This sense of segregation, this sense of disconnection that you cannot feel connected with the world around you. You are inside a belger and you are looking to the outside world. You are looking to this outside world and you can, you can visualize everything but cannot connect through this heavy glass bar. The book's protagonist, Esther Greenwood, is a highly intelligent and sensitive college student who wins a prestigious internship at a New York fashion magazine in 1953. This is the plot of the story. As Esther begins her internship, she is excited about the opportunities that lie ahead. However, she soon begins to feel overwhelmed and disconnected from the world around her. Despite her success, Esther feels empty and alienated from the world around her. He cannot connect herself with the world. He cannot connect herself with the world that she is living with. She feels that there is a gap, an iron curtain between this world of others and this world of herself. And she cannot cross this iron curtain. As her depression depends, she begins to lose touch with reality. She starts imagining things. Esther struggles with depression and mental illness throughout the novel and she finds herself unable to connect with her friends and family. She begins to feel trapped. She begins to feel trapped in this belger. In this glass jar, she begins to feel that she is trapped. And she is eventually hospitalized after attempting suicide. As Esther begins to recover, she is faced with the challenge of rebuilding her life and finding a way to live with her illness. Now, after the recovery, she understands that it is her illness and she has to do something with it. She has to do something. She tries to assure herself with the help of others. The novel ends with a hopeful note, with Esther beginning to find a new sense of purpose and direction in her life. Now we'll have a look at the characters, those who are dominating this novel. Esther Greenwood, she is the protagonist and narrator of the novel. The novel chronicles Esther's descent into mental illness and her struggle to overcome it. Mrs. Greenwood, she is Esther's mother. Since her husband's death, she has taught typing and shorthand to support her family. Mrs. Greenwood is practical and traditional. She loves her daughter but cannot understand her. And there is a gap between the daughter and the mother. The daughter cannot communicate even with mother. The mother is caring. Mother loves her daughter but cannot understand. So love is not everything, you have to understand. 
बार्डी उलर्ड ही इज इस कॉलेज बॉयफ्रेंड हु अटेंड्स ई एल मेडिकल स्कूल लेटर देयर रिलेशनशिप विल फ्रॉम मिसेस उलर्ड इज बार्डिस मादर इज ए ट्वीड वेडिंग मैट्रॉन लिवन हु डिस्पेंसिस मैक्सिम्स अबाउट हाउ वीमेन मस्ट सपोर्ट देयर हजबेंड्स सी रिप्रेजेंट्स द ट्रेडिशनल वाइफ एंड मदर एंड इस तरह व्यूज आर एज ए फ्लोर मैट दैट गेट्स टेम्पर्ड बाई मैन you have to remember this imagery or this simile dorin dorin is esther's friend at the magazine in new york is a blonde beautiful southern college student who tries to help esther in her relations with men esther and dorin share a cynical outlook dorin rebels against societal convention an attitude that esther admires but does not entirely embrace Betsy she is from Kansas and works with Esther at the magazine she is sweet and wholesome Dorin's opposite so Betsy and Dorin they two are friends of Esther but they are quite polar opposite in character and nature she is Esther's innocent friend Esther is somewhat relates to her more than she does Dorin but, but cannot understand Betsy's optimism at the same time JK JC she is Esther's boss and editor of Ladies Day magazine she is very ambitious and aspirants she represents the typical careeristic woman ambitious confident professional she wants more from Esther Constantin she is a United Nations tribal oh sorry United Nations Simultaneous interpreter. She takes Esther out for dinner. Sorry, he takes Esther out for dinner, and he is thoughtful, kind, accomplished, but seems to be sexually uninterested in Esther. Marco, he is a tall and handsome Peruvian. He takes Esther on a date to a country club. He is violent and sadistic, also a misogynist. He tries to rape Esther, but he fights him off. Doctor Gordon, he is Esther's first psychiatrist. He is handsome and conceited, and seems uninterested in Esther's symptom. She does not. Uh, he does not talk about Esther about her problem, but he rather prefers to talk about with Esther's mother about her problem. That is the major fault of him being a psychiatrist. Philomena Guina, he is Esther's patron. She is a famous wealthy elderly novelist. She finds Esther scholarship and pays for Esther to go to a private hospital instead of the state institution. Doctor Nolan, she is Esther psychiatrist at the private hospital. She is kind. Now Esther finds the perfect person as a doctor who can guide her. She is kind, sympathetic, and helpful. And Doctor Nolan is per, uh, is just Doctor Gordon's opposite. Doctor Gordon. and dr nolan dr nolan is the perfect doctor you could say and he is typical doctor without any communication with the patient nolan is a progressive woman she gives esther the support and understanding she needs esther sees her as a mother figure and grows to trust and love dr nolan joan gilling She is a large, athletic girl who once dated Buddy Willard and becomes a patient at the private hospital with Esther. Joan emerges as Esther's double. After Joan's suicide, Esther must face the reality to, of death and her own desire to live. So Joan's suicide was a great blow to Esther. Irwin. He is a younger mathematician and college professor with whom Esther chooses to have physical relations because he seems intelligent and experienced and because he is a stranger. Now have a look at the style of this novel. Silva Plath's writing style in the Bell Jar is characterized by stark honesty and introspection. He just open the every aspect every threads of a person's thought process. The character is the Greenwood. With honesty, she portrays what she can think and what she is thinking without hiding anything, as for the sake of senses. 
the novel is written in the first person from Esther's perspective and Plath's writing allows the reader to enter into Esther's mind and experience her struggles first hand. The novel is also notable for its use of vivid imagery and symbolism. The bell jar is the most vivid imagery and symbolism here. Plath frequently employs metaphors and similes to describe Esther's experiences, creating a rich and powerful sensory experience for the reader. So if you are asked about writing the style of this novel, The Bell Jar, you can modify this. Now themes of this novel, The Bell Jar explores several themes, mainly mental illness, gender roles, search for identity. Throughout the novel, the character Esther is searching for her identity. She cannot connect with the other persons of this society. So she is struggling to find her own place in this world. And the novel also highlighting the stigma. What is the stigma? The stigma is surrounding mental illness. In our society, any type of disease that is related to our body is given priority. But Mental illness is looked down upon as something as taboo and that is challenged and properly highlighted in this novel. Esther's experiences in the hospital and her struggles with her illness are portrayed with great sensitivity and insight. Significance of the title. Belgium signifies confinement and suffocation. It again refers to the pressure of societal expectation when a person is born in the society. He or she is just exposed to the vulnerability of the societal expectations from the family, from friends, relatives and from other institutions. Esther used this metaphor to signify her mental condition. Under the same glass belger, steam in my own sour ear. She can see through the transparent glass but the images appear distorted to her. When she welcomes life, she feels the lifting of Belger, but apprehends that it can lock her again. Okay, so Sylvia Plath's The Belger is obviously a wonderful reading. I feel that I can make you understand some point. Anyway, thank you.